Hello and welcome to this Moto UV video set. My name is Martin Kroll and I am your host for the evening or day or whatever time it is over there. And what I will be doing in this video is presenting to you the UV tool set that Moto provides. Now, if you go over to the uh, UV tab here, you will be given the entire toolkit for UVing. Now, the way I will go about teaching this is I will go through the UV projection tool on wrap and peeler uh, at first, and I will explore how it can be used, how these tools can be used to UV these very primitive shapes. Now, once we get through the process of UVing these very, very primitive shapes and explaining why uh, it is a good idea to UV and use textures for, uh, you know, for your texturing process instead of other technologies such as uh, PTEX and polypainting and, you know, any other technologies out there. Um, once we get through this process and you understand why and how uh, it all works, then we will start moving on to more intermediate shapes, such as these objects right here. Now, by the time we reach here, what we're going to start to do is we're going to start combining a lot of the previous tools uh, and using them together. So, for example, on this cup here, I might use the cylindrical uh, UV projection method, and I might use the unwrap method, and I use, might use the planar uh, UV project tool. And, of course, you know, it goes without saying that a lot of the different tools that we have can be used in many different ways. Now, once we get through these man-made objects, we will move on to organics, such as this head. And of course, once we get past that, we will move on to a fuller character. Even though he's simple, he the idea is behind uh, you being a more challenging character is all the same. So I think he's actually a pretty good example as it is. And of course, once we get past this, we will get to our final object, which is uh, this valve over here. Now, this valve will utilize pretty much everything that we learned in the past in the previous uh, chapters. And of course, by the time I get to this chapter here, what's going to happen is it will actually not have any narration just because it really will not be any, it will not have any new information um, that wouldn't have been in previous chapters. So this valve will really serve as uh, just another example to kind of, you know, just further show um, you know, how it is that I work. So, what I'm hoping that you guys get out of this by the end of all these lessons is for you guys to be able to go through the primitive shapes and UV something like this to finally being able to UV pretty much anything that gets thrown your way. So, with that said, I think we should start. 